Hi, okay, so I am a tomboy. I have an older brother that in the comic books and I would always do everything with him and I <laughs> didn't really get into makeup or anything. Um, I would, you know, like I knew the basics like eyeliner and mascara and stuff like that. Um, but that was never my priority in life. So um, I didn't really do a whole lot of experimentation with that stuff. Um, and now I'm 28 years old and I don't know how to do that sort of thing. So I am at a point in my life where I kind of want to learn it. Um, and I want to start out slow with it. And um, one of my coworkers had suggested um, a subscription box. And I was like, what's that? Because I've never heard of that. And so she told me about Ipsy and I looked into it and I ordered it. Um, I ordered it a little late though in the month, so I won't get mine until September. Um, but then I started to kind of read into more of them um, and learning about different ones um, by watching unboxing videos. And I learned about Birch Box and Glossy Box and BoxyCharm. So I've ordered one of each of them. Um, and I've been patiently waiting for them to arrive. Like it is driving me crazy because I'm so excited to see what's in them. Um, although I do know like BoxyCharm, I know what's going to be in there because everybody gets the same thing. Um, and I'm really excited because there's this, um, like a full palette of eyeshadow. And even though I'm a tomboy, um, I could not be more thrilled about that. So, uh, cause I just think that's like fun colors and everything like that in there. But anyway, one of them did finally arrive today and the winner is Birchbox. My son's right over there. So yeah. Want to see? Wait, what? Yeah. You go eat the yogurt, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, anyway. So, first box arrived, and um, from watching the unboxing videos, I kind of thought the boxes were going to be a little bit bigger than they are. Not that I thought the items in there were going to be bigger, because I've had, you know, researched those before. What you doing? Yeah, moving furniture. Okay, it's IKEA furniture. His little, his little tear, table and chairs. Anyway, so it arrives, and I was like shocked to see how little it was. Um, but it's super cute. Um, I think that this is adorable. Could use it to wrap gifts if I wanted to, or keep it for myself to store stuff in, which is probably what I'll do. Um, but yeah, it's like the size of my hand. And I've got fat hands, but they're short and stubby, so if it, my hand isn't as long as it, that's not really telling because I have short hands. Oh my God. Yeah, you really wanted to read, didn't you? Okay, so I'm going to open it now. It wasn't about reading, it's about yogurt. He wanted to sit at the little table and eat yogurt. Anyway, so that's what the box looks like. Um, it's cute, it's got a little card, it says soak it up. There's a coupon that says don't sweat it. For bright eyes that can outlast the heat, try Marceline's mini waterproof eyeliner kit for 18. Um, and then there's a coupon for makeup remover which I think I might need eventually and so this is what the inside of it looks like all right first item I have naturally curly hair um, and it's been a struggle because I not only do I have curly hair I have thin curly hair so it's not like it looks cute it, it just looks I don't know flat so I have to be really careful with the products that I use because it'll weigh the hair down um, and it won't look voluminous. voluminous. Um, but anyway, so this is probably why they sent this to me. Um, it's called Curl Keeper um, Soft Rough Dry Hair Leave-In Conditioner um, by Jonathan Tor... It's in cursive. I think it says Torea. I can't read it. Um, that's what that looks like. 
I have never used a leave-in conditioner, but I have high hopes for them. I think that maybe that might help with um, some dryness that I might have in my hair. I live in Phoenix. Everything's dry. So, like you have to put like moisturizer on like five times a day if you live here. Not really, but close enough. I at least do it twice. But anyway, so I'm excited to try that. I hope that um, leave-in conditioners work as well as I'm hoping. Um, the next item are little packets. R & Co. Atlantis Moisturizing Shampoo um, and Conditioner. Um, I'm excited to try this brand because I have, um, from watching the unboxing videos, heard good things about it. But I'm not really excited about the packaging of this. Um, I have or curly hair, that's fine, but I also have really long hair. It goes down to like the mid of my back. Um, so I don't know if that's going to be enough to work for me, um, but I'll still try it and see. Um, I think the shampoo will be fine, but the, the conditioner definitely won't be. Um, <laughs> ah. um, so there's that. We've got inside of this cute little box. I bet you might sound like that. Um, Super Goop Hand Cream with Sea Buckthorn. Um, SPF 40. You want a yogurt? Another one? Yeah. Come here. Come say hi. Look into the camera. Hi. Hi. Show them the yogurt that you want. Say hi. I want yogurt. <laughs> okay. Um. Here, baby. I'll open it for you. Go get your spoon. And you can eat right here. So... I got the super group. Um, I love lotion. I keep it at my desk at work and I will use lotion tons and tons of times throughout the day. Um, so I guess if this has got SPF 40 in it, that's kind of a step up in the right direction from what I'm using. Um, It's got a nice um, silky feel to it. It um, is smooth. Feels like it's hydrating enough. And it does have like a, I'm a mom of a toddler, so it kind of smells like, this is not attractive, but desitin <laughs> butt cream. So there's that, that's not working for it. But I guess it doesn't quite smell like desitin but a little bit, like a little hint of it. <laughs> but it does feel really nice. So maybe you can put like a, a fragrant type over it. But there's that. Or you can put this on it, over it. Um, I got a perfume sample for Catherine Maldrino Style de Paris. Cute little bottle. It's not a spritzer, which is fine. Um, I don't, I get perfumes all the time from like family members that don't know what to get me for gifts. So um, I have a really, for a tomboy, I've got a really big supply of perfumes, and, but I do use them. That is one product that I've loved since I was, I don't know, 15. You got a strawberry on your face. <laughs> I gotta get that on there. <laughs> Look at your cheek. <laughs> you wanna get it? No, not with the, oh, ew, let's get that. Well, let's get that. Yeah, I know. Here, put that in your yogurt. Okay, so, um, right now, I love DKNY's um, perfumes, um, and I also love Marc Jacobs, I think that's who it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Dot perfume, it's gonna really, like, almost like a ladybug with a flower on it type bottle, but it smells really nice, even though the bottle's kind of odd. It's kind of cute, I guess. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna try this perfume and see how it smells. Yeah, that's a little strong. Hey, you wanna smell it? Come here, come smell, come smell. No, not a fan? He's not a fan. I don't know if I am yet. I'll try it, but for now, I'm not crazy about it. But I do like perfume samples. Um, I would prefer something else since I do have a lot of perfumes, but I don't mind because at least that way you get to try it on yourself with your pH balance or whatever to see if it's going to be something that you like in the long run. 
Um, the next thing I got is Dr. Brandt's Microdermabrasion Dermabrasion Skin Exfoliant. Um, again, I'm a, a tomboy, but I do take mm -hmm. try to take good care of my skin. We are in Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I do try to take care of my skin. I put moisturizer in a lot and um, sunblock is huge here because we hardly have rainy days with clouds, so sun in Texas. Um, but so this will be a step in the right direction too. It'll exfoliate the face. Um, so I'm excited, really excited about that. The next thing is, and I saw these on unboxing videos and I thought they were super cute, but I didn't get the color that I wanted. I wanted to get the red one. Um, but I got Laca and Co's um, Cheeky Lip, um, and it does have a twisty, I did um, notice that, um, in the color Cray Cray, so let's, ooh, I think on my skin color, because I'm kind of pale, I'm a fair skin person, it came out kind of nice, um, I'll try it. It doesn't look good with my shirt, I don't think. Whatever. Maybe with a black shirt it would look cuter. Um, but it feels really nice. I like the, the sleek or silkiness of it. And it did swatch on really nicely. That's what they call this, apparently. Swatching. I want something new just by watching videos. Um, so yeah, that was my uh, first ever brush box. I'm actually really excited. I know some people were upset with theirs, but this is my first one and I wasn't let down at all. Um, there's a lot of products I know I'm going to try um, that I probably will need bigger sizes of, but at least now I know if I like it so I can go out and purchase them. But I'll film other videos when I get the other boxes in and then I'll probably do two months with all four of them and then kind of pick and choose which one I want to do uh, and go from there. But, yeah, you want to say bye Xander? Bye. <laughs> Bye.